return to the fight! The blood rush! I've lost the blood rush! Strike the fatal blow! Ah, I must get return to nice this fight! Oh! 
Most grim Red Axe! I grow tired of killing your men! Come and face me yourself, or let the gods see you for the coward you really are! Pathetic wretch, you dare challenge the might of Korn. Destroy him, rip him apart. The warrior who brings me his head will bask in the glory of the blood god. I need to fight! Don't toy with me. Just on the right circle, and I'll crush them all! What a sweet death! Let's give them a little respite. No! I need more time! Blood rush. What's this? I thought Red Axe had to honor the challenge. He doesn't think you're worthy, Dwarf. You'll have to prove him wrong. Oh, I'll convince him, all right. Just tell me what to do. Kill as many of his followers as you can. The longer you survive, the weaker Red Axe will appear to his warband. Eventually, he'll have to face you himself.
like that. Hit me. I must flash in the middle of the fight. fight. What a sweet. I need to fight. I've lost the blood rush. What a sweet death! I need more time! I 
need to fight! I must return to the fight! Don't toy with me! Just Let's give them a little respite! I need to fight! Don't toy with me! Just strike the fatal blow! can this be? A champion of Kor never runs from battle. Not unless there was a chance to strike an even greater blow against his enemies. What are you talking about, elf? The death of so many powerful warriors would make a mighty offering. A blood sucker. A great... Ha! Now... Leave it to me. The gods go with you, Braggy Axepiter. If Red Axe summons the Bloodthirster, you must stop it at all costs. Where is the Harbinger? Give her to me and I'll make your death a clean one. Weakling. I should have guessed that southern witch had you caught in her web. She thought she could bend me to her will with her gifts and her honeyed lies. As though I needed the help of a sorceress to win the Blood God's favor and lead us of our cool's horde. When Prague fell, I consecrated its streets with the blood of innocence. When the demons gathered to feast, I subjugated them and was exalted in the eyes of Korn. He gifted me with this axe to bring death and ruin upon the old world. I told the witch that if she stayed in Prague, I would hang her head from my belt. She has gone to the Forest of Knives to seek the champion of Slanish. Her pretty lies will serve her well there. Time to meet your foul god, Red Axe. Tell him, Braggy Axe Biter sent you! Fool, you think I fear death? I offer it freely as a gift to Korn. Blood for the Blood God! I've lost 
Master Madrash!
Leave the axe to me, dwarf. Do not touch it, lest you forfeit your soul. By my ancestors, take that cursed thing away, witch hunter. I want no part of it. Your courage and skill have saved a great many lives. Othgrim Redax is dead, and his warband has been scattered. It will take many years, I suspect. But Gorchev and his people now have a real chance at rebuilding Prague. The fighting's been good, but we're still no closer to the Harbinger. Did Uthgrim tell you anything before he died? She made the same offer to Red Axe that she did to Kessler. Uthgrim said he didn't need her help to take over Kul's horde and threatened to kill her instead. Said she'd gone to seek the followers of Slanish in the Forest of Knives. Never heard of it myself. I would not expect you to. It's an ancient place, deep in the frozen wilds of Norska. An elven city used to stand there, long before the coming of chaos. If the gods are with us, I may be able to open its waystone and allow us to travel there. Something else! Red Axe called the Harbinger that southern witch. What's that supposed to mean? From Uthgrim's perspective, anyone not from the Chaos Wastes is a southerner. Well, if she's not from the Wastes, who is she? Someone from the Empire? It would explain how she was able to recruit Kessler and carry out the attack at Nuln. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. If she were from Null, the Witch Hunters would have found her and dealt with her long before she'd become a threat. We'll know the truth soon enough. For now, let's return to the forest. I must make preparations for the next phase of our journey. I am ready to open the Waystone to the Forest of Knives, Braggy Axebiter. I trust you are prepared. The path ahead will be perilous indeed. Worse than Prague? Good! I could use the challenge! Do not be so sure. The forest lies in the heart of Norska, which sits at the edge of the Chaos Wastes. The winds of magic blow wild there, corrupting everything they touch with the power of chaos. There's more to it than that, High Lawmaster. Much more. Do you want to tell him, or shall I? What's he on about now? Of all the Chaos Gods, Slanesh is the one my people dread the most. We know her as she who thirsts, because she craves the souls of Elvenkind more than any other race. Slanesh is the god of excess. She corrupts by fulfilling one's darkest wishes and deepest hungers. In ancient times, the secret cults flourished among my people. You see, Dwarf? Not even the high and mighty elves are safe from the temptations of chaos. Once we reach the forest, I will remain close to the Waystone, where its energies will conceal my presence. I cannot risk drawing the attention of the cult until our mission is complete. Not to worry, High Lawmaster. I will see to it that the Dwarf receives all the help he deserves. Cast your spell and let us depart.
Sigma's bones! How did you get here? It's a long and bloody story, friend. Find me a cask of ale and I'll share it with you sometime. Never mind about me. Who are all these people? Imperials and Kislevites, captured by Norse raiders. They bring their captives back to Norsk as slaves, or sacrifices to their foul gods. We're the lucky ones. We managed to escape. <laughs> but we quickly learned that without a ship, there was no way to make it back to our homes. So we ended up here. We found the ruins of an old elven city deep in the forest, and plenty of food to eat. For a time, we thought we were safe. Until Straling arrived. Straling? Fergon Straling. A Norse warlord who joined us of our Kul's horde. When Kul died at Kislev, Straling and his war band fled here. They've taken over an elven temple at the heart of the forest and desecrated it with their foul rituals. Now, Straling's people hunt us through the forest. Some they kill, others they drag off to the temple. Soon, there won't be any of us left. This, uh, Skraling, does he have any dealings with a sorceress? Someone who calls herself the Harbinger? How did you know? Lucky guess. Look, Clint, I need to get inside that temple. Can you help me? I wish I could, friend. But right now, I have more urgent problems to solve. Impertinent wretch! We are agents of the Empire. Never mind him, Clint. What's wrong? <sighs> Every time my people try to leave camp and hunt for food, Straling's men are waiting for them. We've been trapped here for weeks, and there's nothing left to eat. Right, I'll go deal with Straling's men. Then you and I will talk about how to get into the temple. Alone? Are you mad? Straling's men are vicious killers. Ha! That's the best news I've heard all day. Need to fight! Yeah. Uh. 
I need to fight! Another second, and I'll crush them all! Blood rush. I've lost. 
us the blood rush! Send out your hunting parties, Clint. The forest paths are clear for now. <laughs> I can't believe it. What is your name, friend? Braggy Axebiter. The cheerless lump of lead is Witch Hunter Voss. Pay him no mind. He hates everyone on general principle. Well, we're in your debt. The camp isn't much, but you're welcome here. We've a merchant, if you've got any gear to sell. There are shrines as well, if you wish to offer a prayer to the gods. I need to tell my people the good news. Come back to me when you're ready, and we'll talk more about the temple. Come <laughs> on. 
will send you their thanks, friend Bragi. If the gods are good, perhaps they'll sleep easily tonight. They'll sleep better once I've taken care of Skraling and the Harbinger. I just need to know how to get into the temple. Ah, yes. The temple. I've been giving that some thought. You promised to aid us, Klemt. Do I need to refresh your memory? Gods, no! I didn't mean it like that. I don't know much about the temple myself. Few of us go anywhere near the ruins. But there is someone who might have the answers you seek. His name is Erlanger. Waldo Erlanger. He was a scholar of some sort before the Norse captured him. Erlanger knows more about the elven ruins than anyone else. If anyone knows how to get into the temple, it's him. Fair enough. Where is he? Well, that's the problem. No one's seen Erlanger in weeks. He went out into the forest on one of his expeditions and never came back. I can draw you a map of the forest and show you where Erlanger was heading. If you can find him, I'm... Fine, let's have it then. Show me the... Looks like Skraling's men were here. There's a trail leading off into the forest. Could be Erlanger got away before the Norse arrived. Better catch up to him before they do.
I need to fight! I've lost the blood rush! No, I need more time. The blood rush! I've lost the blood rush! I must return to the fight! the blood rush I've lost the blood rush What glorious fo What is your name friend you can Of course <laughs> they're like why uh, this sorceress who calls herself the harbinger the Harbinger? Ooh, quite an ominous name, if I do say so myself. She's with Skrilling at the old elven temple. I need to get inside. Oh, the, the temple. Why didn't you say so before? Yes, nothing could be simpler. Come, my friend, let's get back to camp. I need to review my notes and some old journals. I'm sure I have just what you need. Must return to the fight. No, I need more time. Oh, 
there you are, my friend. I was just regaling Witch Hunter Voss about your daring rescue in the forest. Oh, yes, indeed. You're quite the hero, dwarf. I didn't think you had it in you. Never mind about that. What can you tell me about the temple? Ah, yes. Well, as you know, uh, Skraling and his war band have taken over the site. So going in through the main entrance would be suicide. But in my studies of the temple and the neighboring ruins, I learned that a secret entrance exists, hidden in an area known as the Garden of Contemplation. Now, the garden has been sealed since the elves abandoned the city centuries ago. The only way to unlock the garden gate is with a magic key that they hid somewhere in the forest. Get to the point, Erlanger. I know of a map that shows the location of the key, but it's in a dangerous part of the forest. I haven't dared go after it myself. Now we're getting somewhere. How do I find this map? 